I'm going to give you a very high level overview of Codio's plagiarism detection features. What we're looking at here is a set of classes and I'm going to go and take a look at this class here. And here we can see we've got one simple bubble sort assignment for our class. Let's click on this and here we can see a list of all of the students in this class. Here we can see a few of them have completed the assignment. When I'm ready to do plagiarism checking, I click on the button here. And here we have a history of all of the previous times we've run the plagiarism checker. On the left hand side you can see how we're filtering uh, by certain file extensions so it keeps it a little bit, uh, keeps the noise out of the report. So here we're just including Java files. When I want to run the, run the report again I press start and that's now doing a background processing task. It's a small class so it's finished pretty quickly. I now click on open and this will actually show the report. I won't go into much detail here, but just to give you a bit of an idea how it works. This is a ranked list uh, and it's highlighting, in this case, pairs. It could be more than, more than two, it could be three. We see here, for instance, we've got three together. But the, the, the most suspicious ones tend to be at the top of the list. You can also look at this point score. And then it's up to the teacher to drill down and actually look at uh, some of the differences to, to determine whether this is actually a case of cheating or not. If I click on edits, here you can see a color-coded report which highlights some of the differences. Uh, alternatively, I can press on the side-by-side -side view and this shows me the two students' code side-by-side -side. and from that I can make a determination whether there is anything suspicious going on. Uh, if you want to see a more detailed video uh, or look at the detailed technical documentation, then please look elsewhere in this blog post.